Junkin' Fu and Debbie over here in Porville. Hello, everyone. And Don. See if we can get you cleaned up a little bit, Don. So this is the free pressure washer we picked up. And the guy said the soaper didn't work. Well, I think it needs another head there. I don't know what they call them. I think it's called a head. Them are adjustable, and, and this one ain't adjustable. I think I actually got one of them in stock at Porville 1. My shadow's in the way. So we're going to clean down up, and Debbie's going to film. See if we can get in there. That didn't work out, did it? He flipped his wig. Yeah, that thing, uh... Did you eat some of Debbie's cooking? You're starting to break out. Hey. <laughs> Where do sunglasses go? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we might have to get a little bondo out after you now, Don, after... Looks like that felt good. Didn't get you very clean few more battle scars. Yeah, we had the guy hooking our internet out up here and one guy said it scared him so realistic. He had a do-rag over there. Well, anyway, yeah, I got my pants all wet. Whoops. Yeah, that was a free, free power washer. I'm going to change the end on it so I can 
adjust it a little better. Debbie, can you shut it off up there at the house? Yep. So we've been cleaning up Porterville too a little bit. Got to mow all this. Got a ladder in there. A lot of too much junk around here to clean it up. We're gonna have to get rid of junk. This is looking like Porterville One did. So we kind of mowed this down. Got to go back over it again. We got a lot of the heavies down. Finally got down to move out of his chair there. Took the wheel horse and I mowed down here. It was pretty rough, pretty high. Trying to keep the skeeters down. Uh, Skeeto Control pulled back in here the other day and they got a program, they call it the long driveway, and the guy we bought the place from had it where they drove back here and they asked if we could, they could drive back and spray, and we told them, yeah, we're, go ahead. So, they, I think they might have sprayed, there's a few mosquitoes yet, but it isn't as bad as usual. So we're cleaning this out, we're going to bring our chickens over here where we get it fixed up and fenced in a little bit where the critters can't get in here and eat them up. There's a few spots we got to do. Got to patch this. I want to make sure they got an outside yard. So we got to probably close that off and make a doorway here when we get it fenced in at the out back. We, we don't only fence the side walls and we fence the top in so no vultures can down, come down and uh, get them. So this, a lot of this stuff is just, can be moved. Some of it we can put in the old bus for storage. Then we got this we can turn into a chicken coop. Either put some wire mesh up there or maybe put a roof over it. Seal that corner there off. Fix the doors up a little bit so they can't get out and we can get in and out of them. So we went and after we got this mowed, well most of it mowed, I played with this thing a little bit, went out and bought a, a finish mower, seen it down the road and I stopped and they weren't home, I ended up going back and buying it. I was, I might take this out and power wash it, I was going to do it on video, maybe try to clean this up a little bit. I need to cover the carburetor up, I got I got to get a 90 or something so that goes into my breather, I got a coat hanger here now, but like it's supposed to. When you're when you're mowing with this thing, it stirs up a lot of dust. It's a wood. I'm not sure the model, but it's got all the tags inside of it. It actually works pretty good. This one pulley right here was set up, and I got it freed up. I ended up pulling that cover off. I got the cover over there. So I probably will power wash this today. And I may have to raise these wheels up a little bit. They leave a track in the yard. I know the newer ones they got where you shim it to, to go up or down. This one you can use bolt. So to go down and lift this back up and drop it up maybe there's there's three notches there. I think if I go maybe just go all three of them and try it. That'll keep it from notching. It don't need to be cut real low out here. And the three point will lift it up to get into some high stuff. I just backed in here. If I pulled out, it would be nice and nice and clean. It cuts it pretty good. Probably could use the blades replaced or at least sharpened, but until I get all the junk out of the yard, I'm just going to run them blades. I did a stretch through here with it. There's a little trenches that wants to leave. Yeah, tractor's charging real good now. I got to get a permanent battery for it. I've been stealing the one 
couple spots I didn't get over here, but over there, back in there, I did a couple. Four, you can back it up real easy or turn it. So it was, I think it was a pretty good investment. The guy wanted, well, he wanted 400. I got it for three and a half, and he didn't want to go down. It was close, and I looked in the computer before I went over there, and that's that's pretty much what they go for. A lot of times they're a little bit more than that. And, it's pretty dependable. It's old. It's built good. It's got a little surface rust, but I was under it looking at it and taking in bolts out. It's pretty clean. So anyway, that's another project. Yeah, make them over here and power wash with it. Like a dummy, I stuck my finger on that to check the pressure. Don't ever do that. It's on a real fine spray, and I thought it cut me. I might bring the tractor over here and clean it up. Probably not. Not today, maybe. To get these trucks moved, we'll mow under them and open their way so the mosquito can drive right back there and just do a loop and empty their tank out <coughs> or spray. It's already included in the taxes, so. I well, hope everybody's having a good day. Don't you, Debbie? Yeah. And tomorrow is what, Debbie? Well, Monday's Memorial Day. Oh, yeah, Monday's Memorial Day. I keep thinking it's a Sunday. So we're going to put this, I think this is a, a sifter for marijuana or something. I think this is the one we were looking at. Maybe this ain't the right thing. See if we can find a tag on that, but we're going to put that on the computer. I think that's to clean the seeds out. I'm going to stick it on the computer. There's Debbie's feet. Oh. She wears size 12 and a half. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> hey, thanks for stopping by Poorville, too. Take care. Enjoy your weekend. Have a good day. Goodbye now. <laughs>